Thyroid is governed by the pituitary gland, which is the master gland of the entire body. It's responsible for sending signals to the thyroid, to the reproductive glands, and to the adrenal glands. Now, I don't advocate for lab testing because we can usually tell what's happening in the body based on what you look like, what you feel like, what your lifestyle is like. We can tell. But in the likely chance that somebody has lab testing from a doctor, you can interpret the communication between your glands based on certain hormone levels. The pituitary gland secretes something called TSH. And this is the signal that gets sent to the thyroid to secrete T3 and T4. Those are the thyroid hormones that get sent out to the rest of the body. Hyperthyroid is rooted in the thyroid gland itself responding to an imbalance of the body. Whenever a certain gland is experiencing stagnation, stress, inflammation, it tries to compensate sometimes by hyper secreting or working in overdrive. Whenever T3 and T4 levels end up being high in the body because of the stress on the thyroid, it actually signals the pituitary gland to stop producing more and more of the TSH signal to trigger the thyroid because the body itself realizes that there is a feedback happening here. The thyroid is already secreting too much, so the pituitary does not need to tell it to secrete more. This is usually what's happening in hyperthyroid. You'll find low TSH levels and high T3, T4 levels. If the pituitary gland is the one that's imbalanced, you'll usually see an imbalance in the other hormone levels or glands of the body. You can see the adrenals affected. You can see the reproductive glands affected as well. So pay attention to that. Now, if the pituitary is under stress, inflammation, stagnation, injury, if we have certain mineral deficiencies, or if certain chemicals or heavy metals make it past the blood-brain barrier, the pituitary can be affected. Sometimes it will overcompensate and sometimes it will shut down. So we may see a hypersecretion of TSH or other signaling hormones, or we might see a reduced secretion of TSH and other signaling hormones.